Hi guys, just give me one minute uh, and then we'll get started. I just wanted to share it out. <clears throat> and I think I did that. So I set the tone already. Hello Natalie, hello Shakti Sirius. I set the tone already with the sage and we'll just do a little bit of the sound bowl to cleanse and clear the environment for all who are here and all who are coming so that we can just be channeled into our highest vibrational essence through love, through peace, and through truth. So how's everybody doing? Um, the energies are super, super powerful right now. Um, last night was very intense. Actually, the past three days leading up to right now has been intense, and it's kind of why I'm wanting to come on and share a little bit about what's been being shared with me for the collective and even things for my own self, my own journey. There are so many projections that are out there right now. The guides and the higher councils just really wanted me to come on and just remind everybody, listen, it's not that serious, okay? It's all about you loving you, okay? Don't feed in to anyone else's stuff, right? That they're working through right now. Allow them to be there. Witness it, but let it go. Don't get involved. Don't. I saw very specific visions through dream time last night. And so it's all about standing in our love and our peace for us, focusing on us. If you focus on anyone around you right now, other than you and what you're working towards aligning yourself with, you have the potential to fall dead smack on your face and smack yourself right off your third eye and it's gonna come out of nowhere because you're gonna, by doing that, what I was shown by doing that is because of the amount of projections that are out there, you open yourself up to stepping down into your shadow self which it's okay to embrace your shadow self but you can't be there all the time do your work and come back up right do your work and illuminate yourself and integrate it with knowledge and wisdom and take it forward right we don't do we don't want to stand there because I specifically saw visions of the projections that are coming around because of the karmic cycles that are completing right now for so many throughout the world is that we're, it, 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 you fall risk of standing out in your own ego and pointing out everyone else's ego. Let them be there. Let them work through their own stuff, their own way. Focus here. Focus on you, keep bringing you up, keep aligning you in, keep staying in your energy, staying clear, staying purified, staying cleansed, and pushing out anything that tries to make you think less than of yourself, even if that means that you need to come down and meet your shadow self and integrate what's going on as to why do you think less of yourself? What part of you needs to be loved deeper? I've been really guided that it's more about standing in our self-love right now than it is about pulling sides and saying, this one's right, this one's wrong, this one's dark, this one's light. Who gives a shit? We know, we see, stay there. Stay in your essence, know it and see it and keep charging forward. When you allow yourself to get distracted by those that are doing things that aren't in alignment with you and trying to point it out, you're taking the focus off of you, which means you're gonna slow it down. You're gonna bring yourself down a notch and you're not gonna keep skyrocketing. Don't worry about anyone else and don't take on their perception of you. Very important right now. Don't take on their perception of you. Hold you, stand true to you, and keep moving forward because you are beautiful and you are doing the work you need to do for you to align and bring your vibration up. 
we come into new earth by raising our vibration and radiating it out, right? We spoke in our last live and in and almost every live I've done, <laughs> probably going back to when I started doing lives. Um, if you really want to get technical, it's always been about grounding yourself in and tethering yourself up, being that pillar of light, radiating and meeting in the heart and radiating out to all you come in contact with. That's how you change vibrations. That's how you change your energetic markings, your, your links. These are the words that are coming to my, my mind. So I'm not going to try to go for something better than that because that's what's there. Um, so really saying into you, do you want to connect with people? Yes, but you need to make sure that you keep your energy secure. Do you want to build your connections and branch out? Yes, if you're drawn and guided to, go for it. Do what needs to be done for you. The projections are so intense. Don't let it overtake you. Do not let that distract you. Stay centered, stay grounded, stay connected here. And if that means keeping your space from others, then allow it be that as well. Don't force connections, don't force interactions, and just let everyone be where they are. Because right now, we're in too sensitive of a time frame to sit here and say, this one's doing this and this one's doing that. There have been times, and there are some of us who are called to do that, but let me tell you something, you will know if you are called to do that or if you're acting out of your ego frame. It's just something you're called to do literally. Uh, there have been times on my journey where I was called to be a whistleblower for connections and um, things that I was involved in and I blew the whistle and pulled myself away from all of it because I was not going to be there in that element. It didn't vibe for me. And when I left, it was left for others to see or not see. Perceptions are there. You can either, per you can either perceive things that it was all one-sided or you could perceive like what the word that I'm trying to say is you could either perceive it that the person who's blowing the whistle is the evil or you could perceive it that there's really something not quite right here and in we in reality we've always felt it and in reality we've always known it right and so when we are called to do that it's not about standing in our ego and saying blah 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 it's you blow your whistle and you leave the rest up for everyone to figure out what's going on and where they want to be that's what I've been shown and that's how it works for me. Now it's different for everyone. So allow yourself to be who and where you're meant to be. Um, don't play into, I've been really guided by higher councils, especially last night to share this message. Um, I wanted to come on live last night, but it didn't work out for me. So I made a promise that at some point I was gonna work it in my schedule and I am on very limited time today. Um, that I would come out and share this message. And so when we stand in our, when we match someone else's ego, we're doing ourselves a disservice. Let them be there. They'll rise up if they're meant to rise up. They'll come back and they'll join everyone if they're meant to. Um, and if they're not meant to, then there's more lessons for them to learn in that cycle, right? And so you have to let it go and let it be. Um, I do want to say a couple of little messages here through the, um, actually the one deck that I didn't prepare myself for is what I'm being called to. It's Beyond Lemuria. I've used it several times. Um, and I think there's a message that's going to come out here. I only have about another few minutes. Uh, so let's see what kind of groundwork we can cover. Hold on. There's some like falling out. Let's just see. It's like falling out and I can't even shuffle it. Uh, but they're saying, use this one, use this one. So, and the other thing, the other message that came through extremely clear last night is do not dim yourself right now for other people. Don't dim yourself so that another person will like you, accept you, or 
interact with you because ain't nobody got time for that kind of stuff anymore guys we're past that point and you need to see that you're past that point okay trust the innocence of you trust the innocence of where you're going follow the star look earth star so getting real and root chakra together earth star and root chakra together as well as sacral chakra is actually right behind it so really staying balanced in your energy and allowing yourself to allow the feminine life force within you to get super grounded into your earth star into mother gaia and ground into your feminine essence so that you can follow your north star okay keep allowing that to happen for you and come through the best that you can in each moment with loving compassion we're cultivating kindness we're cultivating loving compassion for ourselves first and foremost there is massive heart chakra awakenings today on deeper levels than anything I've personally felt for the co collective thus far. Um, and it's coming straight up to the throat chakra. So it's really activating in so many of us throughout the world where it's bringing it out through our voice. And by doing that, then you are electromagnetically going to be just pulling everyone to you because of that. And so it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that here's the portal keeper, okay? Because you're opening portals and you're bringing forth that wisdom into the future that you are creating, okay? Um, that's what they're sharing with me for that. Um, really getting grounded and allowing yourself to be the earth angel that you're here to be. You're here to shine a light and to balance into your solar plexus. So here's the solar plexus, sacral chakra, and root chakra all here to show you to stand in that power through loving compassion and bring that life force energy into the earth. Okay, shine that light. You can't make this stuff up. This is quite beautiful. There are endless, endless opportunities for you right now. You just have to be willing to see the glittering lights in front of you and trust that even though it might not be in your physical reality, that it's here. It's here, right here, right now, through you, as you, for you. And every step that you take to align yourself to it by looking deeper into you and to what needs to be seen through your own shadow, integrating it in with your light and bringing it forth and shining like only you can. Good Lord, the energy on that one through the solar plexus and sacral chakra is wild. Do it, okay? Just do it. Let yourself flow with that water energy. And so there's no surprise. Last night, for sure, I'm not an astrologist, but I do follow it, and it links in with my readings and, and guidance sometimes. And so last night, if I'm not mistaken with what I was aware of, the moon was in Pisces, which is water, deep freaking water, which is why today there's no surprise that there's this deep heart awakening for us. Get in touch with your water side. If you don't know that there's water in your um, in your birth chart, don't worry about it. Just work with the water element. Do water ceremonies. Do water rituals today. Beautiful day to get in touch with the water elements and water essence of who you are. Um, There is a massive balance of energies that you're bringing forth and shining out like only you can. I don't really know what this card means, but I'm telling you what I see through this card here. Um, and to me, what they're showing, what my guides are specifically sharing with me in this moment is there's balanced forces within. And you are, if you don't like language, block your ears. <laughs> you're unfuckable with okay at this point in time you're unfuckable with all it is is keeping control of your thoughts so that you don't run wonky and keeping your energy safe and secure and you're unfuckable with you're too balanced for any kind of bs so don't pay attention to it get out of the ego stop looking at what everyone else is doing and focus on you kind of ties in very perfectly to what um what was said before the reading um Listen to the sound of the universe guiding you. Keep following your North Star. You're doing everything you want to do to align you to where you want and desire to be. Follow that North Star. You're meant for more than what you're trying to 
talk yourself into or out of. I, so someone specifically, you're meant for more than dimming your light for a person is what I keep hearing. And so whether this message resonates for a specific divine feminine here, maybe there's a part of it that resonates with me and it'll just click in. Who knows? But this is a general reading for the collective. And so what I'm being guided in this moment um, with this specific card um, especially with the way the rest of the reading has gone, is there is a specific feminine energy present here that is worried too much about what a divine masculine is going to think or say. Fuck it. Fuck it. Chuck it in the fuck it bucket, my friend. Because if he is worth your time and he is a true connection to you, it doesn't matter. He will always be there. So let go of attachments and just focus on you. Don't worry about what you're doing. If the person's going to come or not, let it go. Be okay with where you are. Be firm in who you are because when you're firm with who you are, it's like, it's like the universe doesn't have a choice but to just give you everything you desire then at that point in time because they're like, well, shit. I didn't know she was going to do it quite that quick. I've been working on that stuff with her forever, your spirit guides are going to say. And so it's just going to click. Don't focus on the finances. Don't focus on the love connection. Don't focus on anything other than you being in vibrational resonance, standing in your whole fullness, grounded and tethered in, or grounded and, and um, foundationally set and tethered up and bringing it all in and shining it out. And everything and everyone that's meant to be there will be. Finding gratitude for each individual moment, each individual step in the process and in the journey that links you closer and deeper into it. You know, um, and I'm also hearing with this part of the message is change your perception on how you see things. Change your perception on the connection issues or the financial issues that you may kind of think about for yourself because it's your perception that holds you back with that, okay? Oh my gosh. So you have your earth star and your soul star. This whole reading has just come full circle into everything that was said prior to it. Get yourself into being your pillar of light and get it into you doing it for you, as you, through you, and let go of attachments of what will come because you do it. And just do it because you know that that's where your soul star wants you to be, your north star, following that higher self essence, connecting in with your universal life force energy, that pure positive energy that's inside of you. When you connect into that, you have nowhere to go except for up. And everything will fall in alignment from there. So what I'm being guided is if you're here and watching this or even watching it on a replay, and look, you can't make it up because at the bottom of the deck in this immediate moment is full spectrum. And so it really does come full spectrum. Um, I really have to skedaddle. But uh, <laughs> yes, I just said skedaddle. Um, so if you find yourself here, in this moment and later on today at some point I'll share it on YouTube as well um, but if you find yourself here listening to this message let go of attachments let go of who what when where how and why trust trust in your path and just know and let the magic show up through you as you and for you it won't have a choice but to I hope this message reaches everyone that it's meant for and so much more because we all need simple reminders sometimes. I love you all so much. And until the next time I can come back and do more, please keep yourself grounded, keep yourself tethered up, and keep that beautiful diamond self shining out like only you can. Bring it out, guys. I love you so much. Have a great day.